hi welcome to my channel and today i have another theater vlog for you but today we are heading to a children's theater show we're going to see twinkle twinkle at the z art center in hume we've been to the z art center a couple of times and we've always enjoyed it every time we've been and they, were, they kindly invited us to come and review this show so i'm really excited so it's me lawrence and both my children are going i'm going with my son who is four and my daughter who has just turned six and they're really excited to go and see it i don't know too much about the story for this one it's about a little dog um so it's a little dog puppet and yeah they're both really excited so we're really looking forward to going and seeing what it's all about um we're going to get the bus to the z art center it's not too far for us on the bus and we'll show you around once we get there and obviously review the show when we get back so yeah i hope you enjoy this little video So we've just arrived at the Z Art Centre. It's about quarter past one. The show doesn't start till two, but there's lots of activities we need to do here. So there's some twinkle colouring sheets. Here yeah, we've got some Christmas ones as well. So and there's plenty of tables and there's a library as well. So I'll probably have a look around the library in a bit and then head in. So there's no assigned seating for this show. Um, the seats for the adults and then the kids tend to sit on cushions and stuff on the floor and then there's some interaction that goes on however I don't think Alice and Leo will sit by themselves on the floor so they might have to sit with us and um, we'll see Alice definitely won't Leo might so we'll see we'll see what happens um, but yeah Leo's happily doing some colouring Alice is downstairs with daddy so I'm not sure if they're coming up or not Okay, so this is the library. Alice wants to go and have a look. Ready? Yeah, I think you just... Is it shut or is it open? No, no, it's open. Here at the Zen Art Centre. Lots of like hot drinks and food. So this is the menu. So we get 
hot drinks, snacks. Oh, they sell skips here for a pound. Yeah. Palm bears. Oh, I thought they were pizza for the Sweet treats. Okay, so these are for our tickets for the show. We've got e-tickets this time. Usually we get paper ones, but we're doing e-tickets now. So it's in the Renica Theatre. It starts at 2. It's 10 to 2 now. So I think the theatre should be opening soon. Yeah, there's our tickets. It's not your doggy now. Oh, it's a nice one. So Alice and Leo have just been to see the puppet. What's the puppet called? Oh, no, Monty. 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 So Alice loved the puppet. Is Leo? It's a bit more wary. Where So the show has finished now. It was really good. Children really enjoyed it. It's really good for young children. Like if it's their first ever theatre show, they absolutely will love that. It's very interactive and yeah, very intimate sort of setting. Um, but yeah, I'll talk more about it when we get home. But the children loved it. It was really good. Hi, so it's been a couple of days since we went to go and see Twinkle Twinkle at the Z Art Centre in Hume and I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about the show and give you a little review on it. So we were kindly invited to go and see Twinkle Twinkle at the Z Art Centre. So our tickets were gifted, however I think the tickets are around £9 each. Um, the show is aimed at children age one to four so it is for quite young children my children are a little bit older my daughter is six and my son is four and a half but they both absolutely loved the show they really really enjoyed it so we actually arrived quite early at this adult center i think maybe about an hour early um but there's lots of things to do there they've got a nice library there so we went in the library had a look at the books and they also had some coloring sheets and stuff set out upstairs with tables and pencil crayons and coloring sheets and they had coloring sheets of twinkle twinkle so of the little dog puppet and yeah they really enjoyed doing the coloring um with the little twinkle twinkle sheets and it really got them excited for the show and then 
And downstairs just outside of the theatre there's a cafe so you can get some food from there and there's also like a little play area with like a little house and a little kitchen and stuff so the children can play so there was plenty of stuff for them to do while they was waiting um, so when it was time to go into the auditorium we went and queued up to get in and we showed our tickets and they said actually you need to go and um book it in at the desk at the front um, and get a star before you can come in which was a little disappointing because we'd been there an hour and no one had told us that we needed to do that uh, and we had even been to the information desk to ask about where we sit because there was no um there was no um seating numbers on the tickets so we'd asked about that and we were told it's just it's um you just sit wherever you, you can find as you go in there's no like arranged seating um so yeah, we ended up having to get out of the queue, go and get these stars and come back. Um, so when we got back, or what, when you walk into the auditorium, they've got like cushions all along the floor and then they've got some some chairs, uh, rows of chairs. So most of the children were sat on the floor, some of the parents were sat with them. And when we got there, there wasn't really much space and it was quite crowded and our children um on the autistic spectrum and they don't like being like all crowded i think if we would have got there early and there wouldn't have been anyone sat around they probably would have happily sat on the floor um because when we get there there was lots of people there they didn't want to sit there they wanted to sit at the back away from everyone so we sat on the seats at the back which was fine uh, it got a really good view because obviously you're above everyone and all the little children were really young so the show itself is only 25 minutes long but like i said it's aimed at children age one to four so for children that young who probably don't have a great attention span it's probably about the right length for the age range that it is aimed at so the show is by the touch theatre company and this show has been directed by anna newell and it tells the story of marty the dog and his bedtime routine so in the story we, try, we see Marty's dad trying to get Marty to take his bath, which he's not very keen to do, and then tries to get him to bed again. He's not too keen to go to bed either. Uh, he doesn't seem to be like to be left alone in the dark, and when he is, he gets up to a little bit of mischief. So during the show, we get a beautiful light show, which was really good. The children really enjoyed watching the lights move around. Um, there was also a bit of audience participation where they got the children to sing along to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and they were all giving out little bells to ding and sing along to. The children absolutely loved that. They really enjoyed that. So the show is performed by Darren East and Wagner Gasselden. who both do a really excellent job at keeping the young children engaged throughout the show. So at the end of the show, the children are allowed to come up and meet marty the dog which they all absolutely loved especially my daughter she absolutely loved cuddling this little dog she really really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun for the children and because it's such a small audience they all got to have a nice little look at the dog and give it a cuddle and have a picture taken so that was a really nice feature especially for young children uh, and they all really enjoyed that so marty the puppet is absolutely beautiful it's a gorgeous little puppet he's been created by annie brooks and all the children just fell in love with him straight away and like i said especially my daughter my daughter just absolutely loved him she wanted to take him home with her um but yeah he was a really cute little it's like a little scruffy puppy he was really cute he was like a little gray scruffy puppy and yeah the children just fell in love with him straight away he was a lovely puppet so the set for the show was quite simple but really effective worked really well for the show it was sort of like a uh, marty's bedroom so it had like a bed in one corner it had like a triangle shaped shelving unit and underneath was a bathtub and that was the set and then above um they had like a lighting rig which had lots of light bulbs hanging down and then in the center there was a star light bulb and this um was where they had like the little little light show where the light would jump to different bulbs um, and the children really enjoyed that watching the light show that they really got them engaged and um definitely helped to keep their interest so the show is set to a beautiful score which is by Foz Foster and it created created a lovely calming relaxed atmosphere as soon as you walked in to the auditorium it really created that nice calming and relaxed atmosphere which I think really helped um 
get the children comfortable and ready for the show so i thought the, the um soundtrack that they used was really good so i thought twinkle twinkle was a really magical theater experience for young children it was delightful heartwarming and it really kept the young audience engaged uh, throughout the show i thought it was such a beautiful introduction to theater for the young children and i would definitely recommend it so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little theatre vlog and review of Twinkle Twinkle. It is on at the Z Art Centre until 31st of December so there's still a little bit of time to go and see the show and yeah definitely recommend it if you've got young children. They will absolutely love it. Like I said I've never seen young children that age so engaged and just just really enjoying a show. They just were all so quiet and attentive. Um, and yeah children that age aren't usually like that so they must have all really enjoyed the show as an adult i enjoyed it i just thought it was really lovely to see the young, these young children really enjoying theatre so definitely recommend it if you have children between the ages of one to four like i said my my daughter was six and she absolutely loved it um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and review of twinkle twinkle uh, if you enjoy these sort of videos then please do subscribe i do lots of theatre vlogs and reviews on this channel and i should have quite a few coming up next year so do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as a new one goes up i will link down below um where you can get tickets for the show at the z art center i'll also link down below the touch theater company's website so you can find out a little bit more information about the show so i hope you've enjoyed this little video if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye